curtain walls in Revit are just a wall type, and so like any other wall type, you can draw it out using the same tools or swap it out for any other ones. Uh, for example, if I want to take this curved wall at the bottom and swap it out for a storefront system, I'll just uh, go to the top while I'm selecting the wall. Using the type selector, I'll come down and I'll choose uh, starting out the storefront curtain wall system. Zooming in, you can see that this storefront type has mullions that are already predefined and equally spaced. No matter how long or short the wall gets, uh, those mullions will be spaced at a value I define them as. To change the spacing, uh, you'll want to change it in its element properties. So first select the wall by hovering and choosing its center line. Then going to the element properties, I'll choose the type properties, which will bring up a window where I can change vertical and horizontal mullion spacing, and even the mullion types using the pull down menus. So here I'll change the vertical mullion spacing from 5 feet to 3 feet. And after I hit OK, um, you'll see it, it brings all the mullions uh, to 3 feet. Also when uh, swapping out for curtain wall or any other type, you don't have to choose the entire wall uh, to swap it out. You can actually split the wall up into pieces and change it to the different types that it needs to be. To do that, use the split tool uh, located under the modify tab. So click on the modify tab and choose split. And then hovering over the wall, I can just split the wall um, at a point. So split on the left and then on the right side. And now after uh, escaping a couple times to get out of the tool, as I hover in, over the wall, uh, you can see it's split it into three different parts. And now I can select the parts uh, individually and swap them back out for a different wall type. You can also, uh, Revit has a match properties tool, which Revit calls match type, uh, which I can use to create a wall that's similar to another one. Um, under the modify tab, choose the match type tool and then choose the wall you want to change it to and then select the wall that you want to change. So if I go to an elevation view of the wall I've created you can see that it's already um, predefined uh, some vertical mullions and also some horizontal mullions but you'll notice that they're um, hard to edit. If you try selecting a mullion it'll be pinned in place and that's because it's constrained by that three foot spacing. So most of the time, uh, what will probably be easier for you is you'll want to just uh, create a plain curtain wall that's just a plain piece of glass so that you can go in and you can start defining uh, where those mullions are as you're designing out the wall system. So instead of a storefront curtain wall system, I'm going to swap this out for a plain curtain wall system. So to do that, I'm going to select the wall by, in elevation, I'm going to hover its outside edge so that the entire wall is highlighted with this dashed line. Once I have the entire wall highlighted, um, I can just swap it out using the type selector and I'll choose the plain curtain wall type. Uh, when I do this, Revit is warning me that it's going to delete these grid lines and mullions that are already um, defined in it. And I'll hit delete grid line. Swapping it out for the plain curtain wall um, gives me just a, a plain piece of glass where I can start uh, dividing up the wall into sections um, using grid lines. To start adding grid lines to uh, this curtain wall, um, I'm going to go to the Home tab and then choose the Curtain Grid tool. Choosing the Curtain Grid tool, um, you can see that I can start adding grid lines by hovering over the outside edges of the wall. So I can hover over the top edge for vertical grid lines and the sides to place the horizontal grids. And when creating a curtain wall system, uh, it's important to understand that there are three major parts to a curtain wall system. There are curtain grids, grid lines, which are these lines that start dividing the wall into sections, and then mullions, which are attached to curtain grids. And finally, wall panels are the spaces that infill in between mullions. So as I start um, laying out curtain grids, keep in mind that these are going to be the center lines for the mullions. I'm going to hit escape a couple times to get out of the curtain wall grid tool. And I can always, after I'm placing them, I can move them by dragging them or uh, changing the values of their uh, construction dimensions. Once you have the wall divided up the way you want it, you can even re start removing segments of curtain grids that you've already placed or, or adding more segments. 
by first selecting the curtain grid and then uh, you'll notice a context driven tool at the top of the screen called add remove segments. Clicking on that lets you uh, start choosing segments along that line. Then I, I can hit uh, escape or return uh, to, to get out of that edit function. Um, and I can start doing this again for, uh, for other grid lines. First select the grid line, choose add remove, and then click uh, the section. This also works for adding extra sections to a, a grid line. So once you have the grid lines uh, defined where you want them, you can start applying mullions to the grid lines by going to the Home tab, and this time choose the Mullion tool. Now, if you hover over grid line and click, you will place mullions at the grid lines. Um, you can always use a type selector to choose uh, different style mullions. And I'll just uh, keep placing a few. And if I hit escape a couple times, um, you'll notice that the mullions are divided um, in between grid line intersections. Once a mullion is placed, you can always swap it out for a different type of mullion as well by using the type selector. Since the mullion center line is defined by a grid line, if you want to move a mullion after it's been placed, you need to find its uh, grid line that it's attached to by hovering over the mullion and then using the tab key to get to the grid line. This is how you um, drag mullions, is by first selecting the grid line it's attached to, then you can drag it into the place that you need it. Also, when selecting mullions, you'll notice a little blue cross icon. Clicking on this cross lets you toggle which way the mullions cross each other helping to define either its uh, horizontal or vertical uh, verticality of the, of the mullion. And finally, um, editing the third part of curtain walls is the uh, curtain wall panels, which are the, the panels that infill in between mullions. To, the, the panels can be either uh, glass or solid, or they can even be other wall types. So um, even though Revit calls these curtain wall systems, they're actually uh, really useful for laying out a grid and, and defining uh, whatever this wall needs to be. So to grab the wall panel infills in between mullions, hover over the area and keep clicking the tab key until you get to the wall panel. Once you do, you can select it and you can swap this out for any other panel or uh, wall type. The tricky part is in, in elevation is um, finding the panels by using the, the tab key. Once you have a wall panel selected, uh, you can swap them out for any kind of wall types uh, that you want. Or um, also curtain pan panel types.